Tesla introduced a new 4680 battery cell at battery day. This was one of the main highlights Tesla's new battery. 16% more range, five times more energy and six times more power. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell if you would like to know more about Tesla daily for daily Tesla news. So, Eva Fox from Tesla, uh, Tesmanian.com has some more details with our uh, Torque News Tesla reporter Guillaume Humbert. Eva says Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to, transition to sustainable energy and uh, not just through its cars. The three elements needed for a sustainable energy future as susta substantial sustainable energy generation, energy storage and sustainable transport electric cars, said Elon Musk during his recent visit to Germany. Now, all three, three elements of sustainable future are directly dependent on electric batteries, electric vehicle batteries or batteries in general. This is why Tesla has been so keen on developing its own battery cells that will be produced faster and cheaper and have more capacity. Eva Fox notes that the size of Tesla's battery cell remained a mystery. We didn't know that. And while enthusiasts speculated about it, none of them were right. Nevertheless, everyone was right in one aspect, that the battery cell would be larger. During battery day, Tesla unveiled a new battery design, the 4680 tabless cell. Let's explore what value this adds to the company and its products. Uh, Eva says thanks to this increase uh, of battery um, uh, tablet cells, we get five times more energy. Tesla new batteries will have five times more energy. 16% more range in these new Tesla batteries and Tesla new batteries will have six times more power. These are the main highlights. It also lowers the dollar per kilowatt hour cost of the battery by 14%. That is the larger form factor is key as it gives the battery significant advantages and costs less to manufacture. It looks like Tesla is well prepared to equip its core products with the best batteries that will meet their specifications. Eva also says that also the decline in the cost of battery cells will lead to the company releasing cheaper electric vehicle models, which is key to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. And I've already talked about that in my previous report, talking about a 25,000 Tesla car coming in the next few years. Uh, um, to, uh, Guillaume Humbert, uh, Torque News' Tesla uh, reporter says, uh, brings some highlights, talks about also there were some ethical concerns uh, before the battery day event. Proposals were presented today to Tesla shareholders. Interestingly, two of these were relating to human rights issues, such as child labor in the People's Republic of Congo, in cobalt mines. Another issue brought up was Tesla working conditions. Uh, uh, regarding the yearly review after these rather um uh, after these proposals, Elon Musk took the stage to give a rundown of the notable events in the last year. Uh, the first achievement that he congratulated the Tesla China team for their hard work in getting a factory from a pile of dirt to a ramped production factory. In only 15 months, Elon even predicted that over time, Giga Shanghai may produce up to 1 million vehicles per year. And uh, Elon also talked about Tesla's achievements saying he continued he continued actually statements going over the latest Tesla impact report mentioning Tesla's top of the range safety scores and its priority to transition to the world of sustainable energy he expects that Tesla will grow 30 to 40 percent in 2020 regardless of the current uh, situation yeah uh, he continued by mentioning today that Tesla's great improvements in the autopilot and self-driving. Tesla engineers are now labeling three-dimensional videos instead of two-dimensional pictures from each Tesla camera. That is expected to significantly improve the speed of which Tesla 
neural networks will learn, further improving the ability for cars to recognize and react to the road. Now, uh, uh, ramping production, uh, Elon Musk finished these pre-event statements today talking about the difficulty of bringing a product to volume production, which I mentioned already. Tesla had no difficulty coming up with vehicle prototypes, but designing the machine that makes the machine was a major hurdle. Uh, Musk even seemed to reference Nikola, the hydrogen vehicle designer. He said that other car companies had made prototypes but had not been able to bring those vehicles to production. This may not be a direct attack toward Nikola, but it could be Musk's clever way of saying, I told you so. Um, there are also some radical improvements. Um, uh, after this uh, yearly review began the real event, Musk came back to the stage. Musk started by talking uh, by uh, talking of the need for the world to transition to sustainable energy. He noted the importance of Tesla to produce solar. Tesla will now be talking in terms of uh, terawatt hours instead of gigawatt hours. Now he emphasized the importance of producing a lot of energy storage to enable the, this transition to sustainable energy. Uh, regarding the scaling of batteries, batteries need to be cheaper and easier to produce for this large scale production to occur. This will further reduce the price of electric vehicles too, enabling Tesla to sell to every customer. Tesla has retaught how sales are designed and manufactured. Tesla will halve the price per kilowatt hour of its batteries over time. That means 50% drop of uh, price of batteries of kilowatt per kilowatt uh, of um, price per kilowatt hour over time, and they will use a tabless architecture that drastically simplifies manufacturing of Tesla batteries and allows for many thermal battery benefits, allowing for supercharging to happen without the battery overheating. This is important news. Tesla cells will be implemented into Tesla products over the next two years until all products eventually use the Tesla cells. Regarding to the new battery, which I said before, that this is massive breakthrough that improves performance enormously and allows for faster production. This cell will be called the 4680 or 4680 battery cell. It will hold five times more energy, generate six times more power and allow for an extra 16% range. These battery cells have started to begin production using the new method. Tesla will be using a dry electrode method. This method will reduce the footprint and energy usage tenfold. This dry electrode process is not quite ready yet, but Tesla is confident they will get there. And uh, regarding the assembly, beyond the electrode, the assembly lines will be able to create seven times more cells than previously. This is achieved through the extremely high speed assembly. Tesla is aiming to be the best manufacturing worldwide, said Elon uh, Musk. Uh, well, friends, let me know what you think about these developments. Um, I may do another record talking about a ba Tesla battery formation and chemistry later today. And uh, in the meantime, this is Armin Haria from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story coming later today. And I'll see you in our next report. God bless you. Peace be with all of you and see you soon. Have a wonderful rest of the day.